Configuring data collectors for large zones. Please take a moment to remember to use caution when using Registry Editor for purposes discussed in our tutorials or otherwise. If you are using large zones that have more than 512 servers, you should ensure the following on the data collector or any servers that may be elected as the data collector. The server should be a dual processor, latest generation server. And you also need to add the registry key entry, max host address cache entries. If you are unsure of which servers are data collectors, you may use the query farm command. A D after a server's network address identifies that server as a data collector. You may also wish to simply add the slash zone argument to the query farm command to find all data collectors in a farm. Remember to make this change on potential data collectors in the farm as well. To configure a zone for more than 512 servers, you must add the registry key entry max host address cache entries D word value to the registry under H key local machine software Citrix IMA runtime. Set the value of max host address cache entries to a number greater than the number of servers you are planning to put in the zone, but no higher than necessary, because MetaFrame Presentation Server uses this number for memory management. We will use 550 as the number of servers in this example, remembering to select decimal values. It is important to remember that increasing the value of max host address cache entries higher than necessary can negatively impact performance. Increasing this value does not improve data collector performance. Finally, we will want to restart the IMA service on the server. This may restart other dependent services on your MetaFrame server, such as the Citrix XTE service, so be careful to make these changes at appropriate times. You can find more information on this subject and others in the form of product documentation, tech notes, interactive user forums, hotfixes, newsletters, e-learning, scripting customizations, and more at support.citrix.com. Thank you.